I watched their Terminator when I was 13. Underneath it's a hyperalloy combat chassis. Microprocessor controlled, fully armored. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the Terminator. I always dreamt that when I grow up, I will make a half machine, half human. Do not make things like that yet. Not yet. Not for about 40 years. Are you saying it's from the future? The interface between the computer and the body is what we are revolutionizing. What I found the biggest joy in is making a person who cannot walk, walk again. All I remember is a, a massive bang going up in the air. I don't remember hitting the floor. I just remember being on the floor, legs blown off. I just sort of shouting, wasn't screaming, just shouting for, 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 for someone to come help me. It sounds quite quite corny, sort of movie scene. But I kind of, I kind of thanked my sergeant. I thought this is this is my time. I'm going now. That's that that is it. Michael, it's all done, okay? Look, the, the okay. best way to describe Munjid is uh, like a little kid. His attention span is very short. He's not your general surgeon, um, like a stuck up type guy. We're getting a thousand refugees. Across Probably mostly come from obviously his background. Is the pain here? Caring for those in need is what Munjid Al Muderis does best. Does that hurt this way? But Muderis is no ordinary doctor. Does it hurt this Last way? year he fled his homeland, Iraq rather than obey Saddam Hussein's brutal law to amputate the limbs of army deserters. The latest legislation in 1999 was to cut the, the wrists or to cut the forefoot. So I, I couldn't do this. So that I flee from Iraq. And the boat was like a small flimsy leaf. If someone fell off the boat, there was no chance of survival. A lady from the Department of Immigration who told us you came here unlawfully and you're not wanted here. Australian people don't want you and we don't like you. We were tagged with numbers and I was called 982. I was not quiet about the atrocities that were committed in the detention center. There were plenty of them. Since he got the devices fitted, he's super motivated pushing things as far as he can, probably slightly annoying Munjib by pushing a little too far, but I'd rather have 20 patients who push a little bit too far and need to be reined in than have one who basically sits on their ass and does nothing. Two hours before I was going into theatre, my hospital phone rang. If you'd like to congratulate me that I'm being awarded an MBE. And I kind of thought, dang up, what's, what's, what's this about? Is this, is this, is this a prank? Hoping to walk up there and collect the medal and walk back without falling over. <laughs> It'd be nice. Rifleman Michael Swain, the rifles. I was scared that he's gonna fall. And then when he successfully walked and moved out, I was very proud. I felt that there was a tear going down my, my cheek and it was a very, very joyful moment.